This is Pirelli i0 Asymmetrica and today I will review it, take some measurements and tell you about characteristics of this tire. Let's make a measurement of the hardness of the compound with a durometer. As always, I will take three measurements and get the average. If it's so far that tire more comfortable, has better grip but shorter tread life. So, first measurement is 48, second 49, and third 50.5, and average 49.2. As you can see from our comparison chart, this is a soft compound. Let's weigh the tire. If the weight is low, then the tire is more economical, I mean fuel, and gives an increase in dynamics, and due to the balance of sprunk and unsprunk masses is more comfortable. Average weight of all tires in this size is 12.8 kg, weight of this tire in this size 10.4 kilograms and it's a light tire. And now the tread depth. It determines how much water the tire can remove from the contact spot at the moment and with the hardness of the rubber compound determines how long tire will last. And for winter tires it affects the grip of the tire in snow. You can see that the tread depth 8 mm and it is a good. The sidewall elasticity is medium. Next. The sidewall thickness is one of the characteristics showing how durable the tire and the norm is from 5 to 8 mm, here 5.7 mm, it's ok. As you can see tire has a split tread pattern between the outer and inner halves. The outer half is designed with the aim of good tire handling. The inner side of the tread on the other hand provides good straight line grip on snow. Also tread has many thin CPs for good edge effect. So this tire has a very good grip in winter conditions. In summary we can say that this tire is not a bad choice for snowy and icy winter. Thank you for watching, like this video and subscribe for my tire channel, bye.